Hi there, um, my name is Chris Myers. I'm one of the guys that runs the sports medicine uh, ultrasound group here in the UK. Um, during the lockdown, I've reviewed quite a few machines, uh, the Alpinion, um, IQ7, the uh, Philips Lumify, which I've spent some time with over the last week, and I'll be publishing my thoughts on that. And I've also had a bit of a closer look um, at the butterfly machine. And today we're going to focus a little bit more on the butterfly IQ. Um, I've had two days uh, with a butterfly machine. So I've um, spent quite a bit of time looking at its, uh, how easy it is to use, um, having a feel of it, because I must say it does feel pretty good when you scan with it. And obviously looking at image quality, which is uh, by far the most important thing um, when it comes to musculoskeletal ultrasound. I've seen quite a few reviews um, on YouTube about the butterfly, uh, but haven't seen many specific to musculoskeletal. Um, I'm a physiotherapist that uses uh, musculoskeletal ultrasound every day in my practice, um, have done for about the last 12 years, um, and I carry out lots of guided injections as well. Um, obviously, the, the handheld um, space at the moment is a very competitive one. Uh, with lots of new machines coming out um, and I think it's really important as somebody that like myself that's quite experienced with lots of different machines um, that we ensure we get the right information out there for people looking to buy particularly those that are looking to start musculoskeletal ultrasound um, because whatever machine you buy it's going to cost you many thousands of pounds and it's really important that you get the right machine not just for now to learn but also for the next few years uh, so you don't grow out of it. And that certainly could be the case in some of these handheld machines, with some of these handheld machines. So what have we done so far? So it started off, I tried the um, Sonon machine. Um, I couldn't get used to the probe on that one. I haven't spent too much time with it. I then uh, have done the uh, review on the Clarius version 2, which I must say I was extremely impressed with. Um, I've also used the... Um, uh, mini uh, Alpinion, uh, the Mini Sono, uh, which I'll be uh, doing review on soon. And then over the last week, I've been spending a lot of time with the Philips Lumify. Um, uh, but today, as I said, we're going to be talking about the butterfly. There's been an awful lot of hype around the butterfly because it is a pretty cool device. Uh, but is it good enough? Is it, should musculoskeletal practitioners be, be buying it? Let's find out. So you only have to Google the butterfly to sort of appreciate the hype around it. I think Bill Gates or the Gates Foundation has been a big investor in it. Um, they've just raised 250 million pounds. Um, every time I scroll through Facebook at the moment, I get a sponsored link from Butterfly um, and it's been very heavily invested in. Um, which is really exciting because as somebody that uses ultrasound every day, I see the value of ultrasound. Um, and obviously what this has done is it's, an, it's another handheld device, um, which, which is cheaper than your sort of traditional machines. And actually that's meant that certainly more developing countries can start integrating ultrasound into their medical system and their medical care. Now, I'm not going to talk about anything other than musculoskeletal because I don't know anything other than musculoskeletal. Um, so this review very much is relevant to the musculoskeletal practitioner more than somebody that's going to be using it for scanning hearts, lungs, etc. And I'm sure there's lots of other people that have got a lot more experience in those areas um, that can give you more information about it. But there's no doubt that this butterfly IQ has a lot of hype. Um, and certainly is going after the beginner, I suppose. The person that wants to get started in ultrasound probably doesn't want to spend £10,000 at the moment. And they see probably via a Facebook ad where they are spending hundreds of thousands of pounds at the moment. Um, and they probably see an ad and think, well, for around £2,000, surely this is the answer to uh, getting a new or getting an ultrasound machine to get started with so so let's find out a bit more about it so traditionally ultrasound probes uh, use crystals that's why you can't drop them because if you drop them they break and they're very expensive to replace now there's lots of different types of probes 
are used. Now, in musculoskeletal, we generally only use a linear probe. Some, patient, some people may also use a curvilinear probe. I sometimes use them for looking at hips or deep shoulders. Um, and also sometimes for guided injections. But overall, 90% of the time, I only use my linear probe, and you certainly don't need anything other than one probe in musculoskeletal. Now, if I was working on a ward, or if I was working in A&E, where you might do a mixture of different types of scans, that you might scan a heart, you might scan a, uh, an Achilles tendon to see if it's ruptured, then you do need more than one probe. Now, traditionally, certainly with the Philips Lumify, with the Clarius version two and version one, which are both handheld machines, you would have to have different probes for those different roles if you're working in A&E. What's really cool about the butterfly um, is that they've gone away from the conventional crystals and they've actually developed, um, from what I understand is these silicon microchips um, to produce the image, which is new and, it, and really is, is quite impressive technology. So they've got these 9,000 microsensors. Now what that does and what you can do is in one probe, you can have a curved probe, a linear probe and a phased probe as per um, those images at the bottom there. So just with a switch of a button, essentially you've got three probes in one. Now, for somebody that does musculoskeletal, I don't think that's really required and that beneficial. But if you're somebody like an A&E consultant or somebody working in rehabilitation, where you may do a heart scan and then you may do a tendon scan, um, or you may do a, a block if you're an anaesthetist, then you can actually change between those probes just with a push of the button. Whereas traditionally, you would have to physically change the probe and certainly if you need more than one probe it's particularly when it comes to handheld machines you're probably doubling your, your cost so this is certainly a big advantage not for me as a musculoskeletal practitioner but certainly somebody that needs to use and do different types of scans requiring different probes so pretty cool now i didn't look at a new one but apparently, and I have seen the boxes, this is like when you get an iPhone and you unwrap it and it's in a beautiful box, it's pre beautifully presented. You get that suction as it, the box comes off and it's very, very exciting. And you don't only have to look at the carry case that you can buy, but believe me, it is a, a quite an expensive carry case that you see what a, a really cool design this is. When you feel the probe, it's made out of aluminium. It's very smooth, it looks cool, it's in black, very, very nice to look at. And in your hand, it's very smooth um, and it sort of goes in at the right places and it's nice around the hand to use. And it doesn't take too long to get used to using the probe. But you do need to remember that this probe is bigger and it is heavier than your conventional ultrasound probe. So it does take a little bit of getting used to. Now the reason, or one of the reasons it's bigger, one is because obviously it's three probes in one, but also the second reason is that, and one of the reasons it's heavier, is actually the battery is within the probe. So although it's, wire, it's wired, it's not wireless like the Clarius, it is a wired handheld machine, the battery is, is, is actually inside it. And from my understanding, uh, the reason that you have to have the battery inside is that because this is Apple compatible, and it is literally, from my understanding, the only handheld device that is Apple compatible at the moment, you can't take the battery out of a Apple tablet or an Apple phone. Whereas the Philips Lumify, as some of you will know, it is plugged in and it's a very light probe. You don't need to have the battery in the probe because with Samsung devices, I believe, and with Android devices, you can actually take the power from the battery or the, sorry, the tablet itself, the battery within the tablet or the phone. So although the butterfly is wired, it is a bit of a heavier probe because the battery is inside it as well. Now, I did carry out a few guided injections just on meat specimens. As you can see from this um, picture here, the probe or the footprint of the probe itself 
uh, is actually a lot wider than um, just a conventional probe and, and compared to say, for example, the Lumify and the Clarius. Now, I thought this might feel a bit weird carrying out a guided injection because you've got to make sure you get right in the middle. But actually, it didn't take that long. I was only doing simple things and only superficial injections with quite large needles on meat specimens. But it was quite, quite straightforward. Um, and certainly the probe was not too heavy where I felt that, you know, it would it would make my hand hurt or anything like that. Um, the, the battery, uh, the battery can be an issue with some of these other handheld machines, particularly the wireless ones, such as the Clarius version two, because you or the Clarius version one, because you've got to have all the battery inside the case of the probe. Um, with the uh, and and therefore, as a result of that, uh, the uh, Clarius, for example, has about forty-five minutes when it's fully charged. Um, the butterfly which clearly has you know uh, got the battery inside it um it has actually got about two hours of battery life so that's an advantage of the butterfly over the the clarius for example um the, it has a charging mat so you don't even plug it in which is pretty cool you just put the butterfly on top of the mat it takes about five hours to charge at 100 percent, and that will give you about two hours of battery life um which is not too bad at all it is compatible with Apple. So as I said, it's the only one that is iOS compatible, um, but also it is compatible with Google and Samsung um, tablets. So overall, um, pretty cool device. Uh, Probe takes a little bit of getting used to, um, and it is a little bit heavier than your conventional um, probes. The Butterfly Cloud. Now, the Clarius has got a really nice cloud system, um, and the Butterfly has got a similarly nice cloud system. So it's very easy to store. It's very easy to export. Um, you can see uh, in this case, uh, and these, this, this is off the Butterfly um, website, so don't worry about the names on there. Um, but basically, you can have a team where you can share uh, your different scans, which is really nice for learning, for sharing scans with supervisors. And as I said, it's really easy to, um, to, to label your scans, put your reports on there, and very easy to export. Uh, and this is something I really like about the Butterfly. I also liked it about the Clarius, and it's something that the Philips Lumify is missing, in my opinion. But we'll be do, talking more about the comparisons later. Um, later on so really nice that you can just get your scans nice and quickly so when i was on teaching on one of our courses recently one of the guys had um, a butterfly we also had the clarius version one clarius version two we had a ge logic um, we had a, a sonosite machine and we could compare them all but what i thought we'd just talk briefly about is how does the butterfly compare to the clarius version 2 uh, and the philips lumify it, for me as an experienced practitioner although the price is very attractive um, the image quality of an ultrasound machine has to and is the most important element of the machine Particularly, this is important when you're a beginner, because when you're starting off, you're not very good. Your probe skills are quite limited and you're not going to be able to optimize that image um, as well as a more experienced practitioner. So having a poor image quality is going to make this doubly hard for you. Um, so let's have a look. So the let's have a look at the uh, butterfly versus the Clarius. So. The, this is the Clarius version two. So let's just make this clear. On the left hand side, okay, this is the Clarius. And here you can see the Clarius um, image. Here we've got the butterfly image. And here we've got the butterfly image. So this is a longitudinal section of the median nerve. So quite a small structure. And I think. And I, and I do think this is quite well accepted, is that the butterfly image is quite fuzzy. Um, it doesn't have many shades of gray. And actually, you can see that the Clarius does have better spatial resolution, more shades of gray. And overall, I think it is a, a much better image quality compared to the butterfly. So 
if you're somebody that wants to look at very small structures, so a nerve, for example, or even structures like a, or, or even pathology like a partial thickness tear of the rotator cuff or the common extensor tendon, then I personally think the butterfly uh, is going to make this very hard for you. Um, and I would struggle to have the confidence in my diagnosis uh, if I was using the butterfly. Now, if I was looking at the Achilles tendon, for example, or the patella tendon, so quite simple, superficial structures, then I think the butterfly would be adequate. And I use the word ac adequate, it would be satisfactory. But as an experienced uh, sonographer, um, the butterfly image quality for musculoskeletal is just isn't there. Uh, there at the moment. Um, I wouldn't want to scan with it personally and although it is reasonably cheap um, I think that it will become quite frustrating to scan with uh, particularly for those medium to small sized um, areas and also the deeper areas so the butterfly categorically would not be good enough for hips that includes the lateral hip uh, around the glute med tendons and trochanteric bursa and the proximal hamstring. I think anything deeper than sort of three centimeters, I do feel it's going to struggle with on that linear setting. Um, so overall, I think the image quality of the butterfly has, has got a lot to be, a, a, lot, a lot of areas to improve in. The good news is this is the first version of the butterfly. I believe it is selling very well. Um, hopefully not to too many musculoskeletal practitioners or certainly not those that don't have another machine as well. But I'm sure they're going to come out with a second version uh, with all that money they've got invested in the company to get a better image quality. And I would tell the guys at Butterfly, we need to improve this image quality for musculoskeletal scanning. And I did, although I've only presented this area here, in the full review, uh, you'll see some more images. And overall, uh, they're all sort of telling me the same thing. So what about the price? So it's pretty glossy, this machine. It looks really good. Let's talk about the price. So $2,000. So that's pretty darn cheap for an ultrasound machine and certainly one that looks that cool. In terms of image quality, I think it is probably worth about $2,000. Um, if you have a $10,000 machine or pounds in the UK, um, it's going to be a much better image quality. It's going to be much better to learn with. It's going to be much better to scan with. You're going to get a better image quality. But $2,000 overall is obviously a pretty good price. But it's not just $2,000, and this is what you need to be careful with. You have an annual membership, and you can see here that annual membership is $420, which is around 330 something like that pounds. Um, so you can see if you add one year membership, you add your case as well, which you will need, then it's going to come to around two and a half thousand dollars, two thousand pounds, something like that. If you go for a three year membership, which you will need. So every year you have to pay another 350 pounds, something like that. So if you say you're going to use this machine for three years, which you'd like to think you're going to be satisfied with it for three years. I'm not sure you will in musculoskeletal. I think you'll be looking for another machine reasonably quickly. Then you've got to add another thousand basically. Um, so you're looking at three thousand dollars. So what's that? Two thousand three hundred pounds, something like that. So it does add up. It's still one of the cheaper machines on the market. It has good usability for that price. Um, but the image quality for musculoskeletal um, does reflect that price um, as well. One really nice feature um, of the butterfly, which the um, uh, Clarius has got, um, Clarius Live, and it's, I believe it's called Clarius Live, and then you've also got the Philips Lumify React, uh, which I believe it's called React, um, and this is this sort of tele-guidance or, or tele-teaching, and that means that you can call up your friend, in this case they also have to have a butterfly, so it can't just be anybody, um, and you can share the images with them. So obviously it's encouraging people and particularly teams who have butterfly machines to communicate with each other. You can share your scans with say, for example, a supervisor if you're learning how to do it and they can give you feedback and real time feedback on the position of the probe and it's pretty cool. And you can just see it on the bottom right picture here. 
is you can get feedback from your supervisor and they tell you where to rotate the probe. So that's pretty cool. And that as somebody that does lots of teaching, that's something that, that would be quite useful. But, but as a teacher, I would find the image quality quite frustrating. And I think as somebody that's trying to learn ultrasound, this is making it a little bit harder than uh, it maybe it needs to be. And certainly learning ultrasound is already a pretty difficult skill, particularly in musculoskeletal, because everything that we're looking at is, in, is pretty small. Um, I think it could be quite frustrating. And uh, certainly, I think my, my opinion of the butterfly is if you're scanning just big structures, you know, like the Achilles, like the patella tendon, then I think this would, would be okay. But if you ask after the sort of finer detail of anatomy, deeper structures, smaller structures, which to be honest is probably 80% of musculoskeletal conditions, then I don't think the image quality is good enough. But this is a really nice feature uh, that they've recently um, added in. So just in conclusion, um, I think this is really exciting technology. It's clearly a, a company that believes looks are important, which I think most of us think looks are important and the feel of the probe is really nice. Um, and as I said, the connectivity, the usability, the teleguidance, all of those things are really, really nice. The ability to easily export um, scans and email scans looking on the cloud is excellent. Um, and so those things are really, really good advantages of this machine. Um, it is relatively cheap, as we've talked about, compared to other machines. Um, but is it good enough from an image quality point of view for musculoskeletal? I conclude that I don't think it is good enough. I think I'm sure there'll be a second generation that will look more specifically at musculoskeletal. And I think they'll come out with a much better machine. Um, uh, sorry, a much better image quality. Um, and at that point, hopefully I can re recommend this for um, musculoskeletal. At the moment, I know of two or three people that have bought it either before they've been on my course um, or, or they've just contacted me via email. And certainly a, a significant percentage of them have regretted buying it, particularly if that is the only machine they're going to have in their practice. If you've got a butterfly, uh, one of the, uh, one of the uh, physios that bought it, had a machine in, in the clinic, a nice uh, GE uh, portable machine, and they actually bought, bought a butterfly because they worked with a um, football team and they wanted something more portable. And so they could use that on the road. But those um, patients that they saw would come into the clinic and they would scan on the bigger or on the GE machine, which has good image quality. Also, the, the person that I'm talking about used the butterfly for just teaching themselves when they're at home, scanning their family, for scanning their friends. And it's obviously a very compatible machine. And as a result of having that second machine and having it as a portable machine where they could scan at home, their progress was really quick. And actually they were doing our mentorship program um, and they made, made really quick progress because they had good access to a machine. But certainly I wouldn't recommend the IQ uh, for somebody that the IQ is going to be their only machine because I don't think the image quality is good enough. But I'm sure, as I said in the future, they're going to come up with a very nice second version that's good for musculoskeletal. If anybody completely disagrees with me or agrees with me, or if they've got any questions about, you know, machines, handheld machines, then feel free to drop, drop me an email. Um, and there's certainly more resources on our website. Uh, we also uh, have a Facebook closed forum. Uh, and if you just search uh, Smug Ultrasam Forum in, our, in uh, Facebook and you request to join, be more than happy to, for you to join that. Um, and it's a really nice forum for sharing scans, sharing ideas, and there's always lots of chat about ultrasound machines. So thanks very much for listening. I hope you found it useful. Um, and my next review is going to be on the Philips Lumify, and then we're going to do a head-to-head -head of the Philips Lumify versus the Clarius version 2. And I think those two are the best handheld machines on the market at the moment. And so hopefully you'll find that interesting too. Thanks very much for listening.